So yeah, to say the least, I've uh, acquired quite a bit of mail past few days. So today we're gonna be opening it up. I know the most original idea on YouTube, okay? Opening up your Pokemon card mail. You know what? I don't care. I'm gonna make the content that I wanna make. So I'm not gonna even lie. I accidentally opened up a few things. Some stuff that you probably wouldn't even wanna see on camera anyways, I'll show you. So basically I bought this baller Game Boy Color carrying case, all right? And then and then open it up. Guys, I keep my, uh, my Game Boy Color in a sock so I can protect the screen. That's what gamers do. But look at this baby, an authentic Pokemon Crystal version. But anyways, yeah, that's the stuff that I actually opened up. But now let's get to the stuff that I haven't opened up. I feel like I'm about to get roasted, okay? I really feel like I'm gonna get roasted at what this is. It's a Deli Bird plush. I'm gonna say this, Deli Bird is one of my most favorite Pokemon ever. I remember back in the day, I had this Pokemon card. I think it was from uh, Next Destinies. It was a Deli Bird card, and basically I ran it in one of my Pokemon decks. And that's why I have good memories of Deli Bird. Okay, next up. Now I know that the, truly the best package in here is the one in my underwear, but you know, I can't unbox that on this screen. YouTube would actually, you know, honestly, what would, okay, I feel like if I show my penis in a video i wouldn't get my channel taken down i feel like the people who seen the video wouldn't report it because they're people who like genuinely like my channel right and you know they're like they're probably gonna be like you know it's just a little gauge penis i i i mean i kind of needed some of that in my life i don't really mind it i'm not gonna report it or anything in like my videos it's not like i get a hundred thousand views every video would youtube actually find out that i showed my penis in a video dude these questions man you're probably wondering what these cards are okay you're like gate why do you have some old ass cards that are like worth 10 cents but this is from my favorite pokemon set ever genuinely no pokemon set even comes close to this set but it's plasma storm but anyways these costs to get the commons and uncommons it costs like maybe uh maybe ten dollars you know they're my favorite card arts ever like look this grotto a lot of this is iconic for me and like i love these cards a lot uh see these team plasma cards were so awesome back in the day i I remember opening up plasma storm booster packs in target they cost four dollars and now they cost over a hundred and they're very hard to find gen 5 had some of the best pokemon chandelure was one of the coolest pokemon ever heat is a good pokemon too pillow swine lombre vanellish everybody hates on him but my boy vanellix was fire like look this card was worth 20 cents and look how great it looks and yeah i'm basically buying a binder so i can complete all the plasma sets so plasma Plasma Storm, Plasma Freeze, and Plasma Blast. Dawn Fan, these are all in comments, by the way. Girder, I had a Conkelder on one of my teams uh, in one of my black playthroughs. Uh, Durant, see, another one. These cards are so cool and they're worth 20 cents. Togetic, one of my favorite Pokemon. I'm actually um, trying to get a Togetic right now. All right, here's the rest of the Plasma Storm cards. Besides, I'm missing like 10 of the cards because some of them were ridiculously expensive and I didn't have enough money. Articuno E at dude these are in really good condition man troll and toad really didn't play me i i always hear people say in troll and toad oh shit their near mint really means heavy play but black kiram cobalion ex dude look at, i just look how this card was 40 cents look how amazing it looks these sets are slept on giratina this is uh this is my favorite card of all time like one of my favorite cards of all time sorry i had this card and i remember uh running a theme deck a long time ago oh man it's just such a great card hypnotic laser this card is ridiculously expensive this is like a seven dollar card this was more expensive than all of these exs actually another card that i love i had this card and i played with it a lot people People sleep on this Pokemon. I think it's such a cool design. Lugia, man, these EXs are so fire. Moltres EX, Victini EX. Oh my God. This card, look how amazing it looks, right? $3. White Kiram and Zapdos. These cards are truly slept on, guys, and they're so cheap. I'm kind of drawing attention to this set. This set sucks ass, actually. Don't buy Plasma Storm. You know, this set is so garbage. I can't believe the set was even made. Don't even pay attention to this part of the video. Just... Uh skip it you know i already got all the cards plasma storm's a great set now go buy it while it's still cheap i love this card so much torterra was just an incredible card as a common theme of this i ran a lot of decks with these cards i wasn't a collector as a kid i was a uh i was a player with the women 
and the Pokemon cards. I got these cards for so cheap. Guess how much I got this card for? $8. And then next up, oh my God, look at this card, $20. And this one, it's a little beat up, but this is the best deal I've ever seen on this Pichu, $25. This is literally the cheapest I've ever seen uh, a Neo Genesis Pichu go for. I, I would say this is in my top five favorite cards. So I'm happy that I got, oh, I know what these are. Guys, you're about to go crazy at the prices. Guess how much I got this for? $12. Now this Machamp, this first edition Machamp, $10. $10. That is insane. That is wicked. All right. So this right here is one of my favorite cards ever. Neo Revelation Deli Bird. This baby is gorgeous. You guys can't hate on Deli Bird. I don't know why, but when I think of Pokemon cards, I think of Deli Bird. It's really funny how insignificant memories can be some of our most powerful. I played with it in a deck like once or twice, you know, and it's something I remember seven years later. All right. So last reveal. Let's see what card it is. And last but not least, Blossom from Neo Genesis. Uh, this is such a beautiful card. I got this for $15. And now that I'm looking at it, this is in far better condition than what I saw it on in the pictures. Holy crap. And it's cards like that. Immediately when I stopped caring about the condition of Pokemon cards, all of a sudden, collecting Pokemon cards got to become a less expensive hobby. A few months ago, I probably would have spent $100 on this Deli Bird, but I spent $22. I was such a condition Nazi that if a card wasn't perfect, I wouldn't be able to enjoy the card. But now that I realize that condition doesn't matter, as long as it's lookable, you know, I'm happy with it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.